phone while it's strolling on a sightseeing around the village. Listen, Harry, I understand. I know you miss doing stuff here, but this, I mean, this really got to me. I needed that money. I just withdrew the money so I could get something from the roadside, and all of a sudden the money was gone. It's okay. Okay, hold on. Just <laughs> hold on a bit, bro. <laughs> oh my god! Do you know, it's true. I can see it. Oh, now you want to make me cry. You like money a lot. My sister, I do like money. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Henry. Thank you. Thank you, Henry. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, we are the ones meant to be sending money because you are in a foreign country stalling while we are at home on strike mm -hmm. eating food. <laughs> Come on, Chine. You know I'm not the type that likes to well, overly depend on mommy and dad. I'm okay. I do some part-time jobs here to raise some extra cash and pay. It is quite good. Really? That's great. Hmm. I trust your hustling spirit. <laughs> You are my hero! And you are my champ. I love you, bro. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Say hi to mom and dad, yeah? Oh, well, I do. But I still feel like cursing that idiot who picked up my wallet. Uh-huh. Anyway, thank you, bro. I love you so much. And thank you for the money. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye. -ya. <laughs> I am super duper excited. I mean, this feels so good. I got my money back. Mm -hmm. Just like that. <laughs> Thank you very much for suggesting that we call Henry. You're welcome. Mm. I mean, you know, I'll do anything to make you happy and to see you happy too. Mm -hmm. But that does not include for feeding my eye with see. My sheer set. Where your eye with see? Your nose with smell. Are your money lost? Did you lose your money? Sounds like a it's a no. No, 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 I mean, this okay. it's a little bit torn here, okay. so I want you to run it all the way down. Okay. Mm? Right. Just Thank do you. it, eh? I will. Okay. Eh, please, don't hold it too close because I don't want the dress to get too tight. It's okay. fine. Mm. I'll be careful about it. Yeah, I forgot to ask. Um, how much is it? Mm. Don't worry about it. No. Anything you give me is fine. As soon as I did the job, person. Just tell me how much you are going to collect. I don't want us to start having issues when you're done with the dress. Like I said, do not worry yourself. We're not going to have any issue. Listen, bro. Appearance is not reality. Forget this big house you're seeing. We are not the privileged rich girls you are seeing us as. Well, it's fine. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Okay? The reason we're saying this is that money talk right now unsettles my nerves. So. Oh, really? What happened to you? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry uh, for asking him. No, it's, it's okay. It's fine. The thing is, um, I lost my wallet today on my way to the market. Oh, your wallet? Sorry. How much was in it? I had um, 64,000 naira in the wallet. Sorry, why are you asking? Did you by any chance see my wallet? Sorry, she's not by any chance accusing you. What she's trying to say is, did you by any chance ever hear someone probably talking about something like that that made you ask exactly how much is in the wallet? 
You know what? Let's just forget about my my wallet talk. How much are you charging for the amendment? Don't worry yourself. Money is not everything. No matter how big one's need for it is. I mean, just wow. A very intelligent, educated, philosophical Obioma. <laughs> that is great. You see, circumstances of life can turn someone into all sorts of things. But one should pray that when life hits you so hard that you don't lose your moral values. Even if you do, that you still pray to have a second chance to correct it. It's okay. Um, it's fine. You can go ahead and fix the dress Thank if you. that's how you want it. So as I was saying, give me your account number so that I can give you your urgent two k. Uh, two what? Like I would do what? Sort uh, of my sixty-four thousand naira. Thirty thousand naira. Ah, but you have to. You are a Are you okay? I, I hope we didn't say anything to offend you. Come on, talk to us. What, what, what is it? Young man, are you sure you are okay? What's, what's the problem? I'm done. You're done. I'm so sorry for crying needlessly in front of you. I'm sorry. Are, are you sure we didn't sorry. see anything? At, at least come have your money. Hello? Excuse me? At least come have your money. What in God's name is wrong with him and who is he really? I don't know. I wish I knew. Interesting character, though. <coughs> Lovers of our time, please. <laughs> I'm going outside, Mom. Aww. Where are you going, my angel? Well, nowhere in particular. I just want to go somewhere quiet, natural, and calm. You know, somewhere where I could have my piece to complete my poem I have been writing since last week. Oh, you have started writing poems again? Yes, I have. God, it's been boring here. I mean, since the strike, I've been home doing nothing. I don't want to get fat, so I decided to start writing again, and it's been amazing. Especially today, her sister, who is her best friend, went to Enugu to take care of business for that. Mom, you did you. <laughs> you are too wise, this woman. That's why my father married you. Yes, sir. <laughs> the truth is that if you and Chine are not my daughters, I would have found it really difficult believing that you are not twins. Are we that close? <laughs> the kind of love and closeness that exists between the two of you makes me so proud. Mm. Well, you can go, but make sure you come back on time. Yes, sir. So can I go? Yes, but I can't wait to be the first to read that poem when you are done. Definitely, Dad. You must be the first person to read my poem. You know you're my best critic. You know that. Um, <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye, baby. Take care of yourself. Okay, you too. Yeah. And be good. Bye. This is such a vibrant song. Brilliant and lovely as well. Chine, you too. You're we're right. so blessed. We're blessed, we're blessed, Honestly. we're blessed. <laughs>
I'm tired. 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 I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired! <laughs> Someone crying in the forest? And it's a man's voice. Who could it be? What could possibly make a man cry so openly in a lonely forest like this? Could it be he was injured? Yes. He must be badly injured and in need of help. Go and check him out. But what if he is a... He has stopped. Mother, my sweet mother, they say that the dead watch over their loved ones who are still alive. Mother, even though I did not meet you, I want you to know wherever you are that your son, your blood, I love you so much, Mother. I love you so dearly. And I believe strongly in my heart that you love me deeply too. The reason you made my adopted mother to choose suffering in a strange land in order to save and bring me up. What then is happening now? What is going on now, mother? Because the suffering is too much. The suffering is so, so much. Mother, 
I need help. Please. The woman that helped me, my adopted mother, she needs help. We need help, mother. Please help me and thank God. Help me and thank God to come and help us. Help me and thank God. We need help physically and spiritually. Please. Please. <laughs> but I please thank God. Tell God to save me from the claws of Madame Egothi. Tell God to save me from the torture she calls sex. She has been subjecting me to it almost every night. I am tired, mother. Thank God that I am tired. Thank God that I am tired. Come and save me, mother. Save me, I am tired. Save me, I am tired. <laughs> I am tired. I am tired, but I am tired. <laughs> Again? I think I have to go and find out what is really going on. I don't care about the potential danger. A human like me crying in the forest. People don't cry for fun. I'm so, so sorry. The prophet or the native doctor that told you it was me was right. It was indeed me. But please, forgive me. I'm sorry. If you're here to deal with me, go ahead and deal with me because I deserve no less for descending to such low. Please forgive me. I'm not a thief. I am not. I, I have never. Please, please, um, stop. What exactly are you talking about? You mean you don't know? <laughs> know what? Oh, um, please, forgive me, please. I, I will tell you this. I, I have a confession. Before meeting you and your sister four days ago, I, I saw and picked a wallet with 64,000 Naira inside of it. Oh yes. The truth is that even while you and your sister complained about a missing wallet with money in it, I still had the complete money with me. I am sorry about it, but I, I am not a thief. Uh, understand me. I'm sorry. Please, forgive. Please. What? How dare you? I'm sorry. Please, Butu, please, Biko. The throat is that telling you about it or returning the money to you that very day would mean sentencing someone so there to me to that. Please forgive me. Please. It was a case of good and evil placed 
in front of me to make a choice which I, I selfishly chose a fool because I needed to save a life. I'm so sorry, I'm not a thief. I am not. I have never tried it. Please forgive me. But honestly, if I'm placed under such circumstance again, I will still do it again and again and again. I'm sorry, I am not a thief. Please, forgive me, please. Please, you can do whatever thing you want to do to me. You can, you can do it. I am ready to face it. Please, I'm sorry. I needed to save a life. Please. After my National Youth Service program, I joined her in her restaurant business. I helped her modernize it. But when Mobi was attacked by Boko Haram terrorists, we ran out of the city, only to, to come back and meet our properties, our cars, our houses, the restaurant, including my school certificates, completely destroyed oh and burned. We had no other choice but to come back to the village. Six months ago, we resolved to come back to the village. We were trying to pick up our basics, trying to get something better to do when she came down with this sickness. My God. That is my story. The story of selfless sacrifices made by this woman to give life to the child of a dead stranger. And now that she is in need, I cannot even help her. I her to become a thief for me to pay for her drugs. Um, listen. You don't have to say that. You are not a thief. Okay. I, would have, I would have returned your wallet the very day I picked it up, if I'm not a thief. You did what you did because of the circumstances you found yourself. Anyone in your shoes would do the same. I would even do worse. You are not a thief. Okay? Oh, I mean you're forgiving me? Right there in the forest. I hold nothing against you. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I will talk to my parents about your mother's case. I am not promising anything. I understand. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enter the car. Hi, Buka. Mother, be good. Please, let me be. Not again, please. Let me be now. I say you should enter this car. I beg you in the name of God. As you can see, I'm going home. I'm going home to wash my mother's dirty clothes so that I can go back to the hospital and be with her. The plan has changed. Changed by me. 
Enter the car. Mother may God, they know. You're talking to a human being. Hope you know that, right? A human who has lost his independence of thought and actions. You are more or less a slave, a goody slave. And a slave who wants to stay alive. Don't argue with his master. Enter the car. Is that a threat or what? Me? I am too big to threaten a low life like you. I'd rather mold you into shape if you dare me. Now, enter the car. Stop there! Are you entering this car or do I use this to write the last chapter of your miserable life? Quick! Life was okay. Fast, handsome. Egodin has made a degree, and so shall it be. Tell me who the lady my soul saw you with at the hospital. That is forced. Just four days ago, you were able to get the recommended drugs for Dora that would last her for two weeks. And when I ask you where you got the money, you didn't say anything today. An affluent, looking strange lady visited the hospital with you to see Dora. Who's she? That's too much a coincidence for a goodie to ignore. So tell me, who is she? I will never disclose her identity to a devious witch like you. Even at the point of that, you think that forcing me to your house at some point and locking me inside your toilet will force me to tell you what I vowed never to tell you? Better think again. You are wasting your time. By the way, she's not part of the bizarre deal you blackmailed me into having with you. Is she? Yes. She is. How? Well, she is beautiful, according to my sons, and I don't care if she's the one that gave you the money or not. My only concern is about what her sudden presence in the equation could mean for the bedroom deal I have with you. Oh, you are jealous, right? <laughs> And who are you laughing at? I'm laughing to you, Luda. I'm laughing to your miserable life. Hey, Goldie, even with locking me up inside your toilet, you are still a prisoner. A prisoner to your loss. Prisoner to your shame. Prisoner to your insecurity. You are an insecure animal in the prison of your own satanic flesh. Hey, Goldie, shame on you. Shame, shame on you, we could all come. And who? Laugh again. Laugh again. And I'll put a lady in your skull right now. Laugh! Go ahead. 
Go ahead and shoot me, you retired Ashawo. Go ahead. Stupid idiot. What more can you do to me? I said, what more can you do to me? Is that all you could do? <laughs> See what I told you, right? You are a miserable prisoner to your own lust. My God, you are really miserable. And the worst is that having sex with you is like boxing the air. Oh yes, and you have nothing to show for it. Your former customers in Yola and Italy are screwed and taking everything away from you. You have nothing left in you. What do you have to show for it? Loneliness, crystal lust, and frustration. Sorry for you, Egodi. I'm so, so sorry for you. No! Shoot me! Yes! My retired and frustrated old Kago Ashao. Go ahead and shoot me. you've compounded your situation by all that you've said to me. If only you knew. The God, you're a loser. Nothing will happen to me. Go ahead and do whatever thing you want to do. What more will you do to me? What more will you do to me, Egodi? What more will you do to me other than detaining me? in your house and having sex with me every night. What more will you do to be a goody other than spreading your old wrinkled laughs and forcing me like a dead animal to spread your leg and keep having sex with you harder and harder and harder again. What more will you do to be a goody? <sighs> See, tonight, you've lost it all. Oh yes, because even the weakest of erections will not come from me. No matter how you force me, I am not ready for anything with you. Cry to bed, dry wood. You've lost the battle you started. <laughs> it's like we're forgetting something. We're forgetting someone. Dora. I admit everything you called me tonight. No problem. There's something I want you to also admit. As long as Dora is still alive in that hospital, you can never call my bluff for real. Never. Because without you, Without you, sugar boy, Dora can never make it life out of that hospital. No. Who will stop me from going to her? Me. A Cody. The only 
only way you are leaving this house, this room, is for you to be able to make up with me till they break without stopping. And if getting erection becomes an issue, Ecodi has a lot of sex terror here in my cupboard to make that happen. Need I remind you that whenever you're here to make out with me, hefty young guys are out there waiting for my instruction to kill you. Just for me to say so. And that includes getting any form of violent treatment from you, dude. Now get those rags off your waist. Let's get started. What brought you here? From my pretty lips to your toy. Do you need help? It's after 9 a.m. in the morning already. They'll be looking for me at the hospital. I need to go. Please allow me to go. I've already done what you demanded of me last night, didn't I? You've done one, remaining the other to be done. So, do the need for. Else you're not leaving this house. Which other needful are you talking about? Huh? The girl that visited Dora the hospital. Where is she from? Where did you meet her? Who is she to you? Like I said to you before, even on gunpoint, I will never tell a desperate devil like you who that girl is. Oh yes, if my mother dies as a result, sad, but I'm sure she will f forgive me when everything that happened will be revealed to her in the spirit world. I know she will forgive me. Really? <laughs> so you consider hiding her identity from me as what risking everything for them saving Dora's life? It's all right. The door is open. You can go. Read my lips. Do not say I didn't warn you. If anything happens to her, 
If she comes to violent end, don't blame me. But I... Shut up. Now dress up and leave my house. Get out! Get, 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 get out! The time is up. with you. We've been trying to reach you all day. Your phone has been switched off. Oh, no need explaining. My sister has explained everything that you're going through with your mother, my parents and I. We actually went to the hospital to see your mom. My oh. sister and them are parents. Oh, really? Yes. You went with your family to see my mother? Yes. Thank you. Um, why don't you come and say hi to them? I mean, when I told my dad and they were actually really surprised yeah. and they decided that we all go to the hospital. Well, that's my dad and my mother. Hey, Daddy, this is Ebuka, the son to the woman we went to see at the hospital now. Ebuka, this is, um, these are my parents. Good day, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Good day, ma. God bless you there. Thank you, ma. My daughters have been trying to reach you since morning after our morning devotion. What happened to your phone? Oh, sir. My phone was switched up. Okay. I had flat battery, sir. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry about it. It's okay. Amarachi told us everything yesterday. And we have seen for ourselves after visiting the hospital, and we've also heard from the doctor, we have decided to sign off the medical bill. Oh, thank you so much, sir. Thank yes. you, sir. We'll, we'll pay for the drugs, thank you, sir. the surgery, and the after surgery medical care. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Amarati. Thank you. It's Thank you. Okay, Thank fine. you. you don't have to Thank you so much, me. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay, Thank you. Get up. Eh? Get up. Oh, thank you. The human family is one that tries when they have reach out to help they have not. So it's all right. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Oh, yes. We didn't do anything exceptional. We had the means and so we decided to help. In fact, God expects all humans to do the same to one another. Yes, sir. Thank you. My God will bless you all. My God will favor you all. My Amarachi, God will bless you. Can you just stop thanking me? I told you, it's nothing. My God will bless you. It's fine, okay? Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate this. I really appreciate this. My God will favor you all. Hi, 
This is. Hey. Come on. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In case you need anything to purchase, you can use this. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm talking you, about um, writing of your mother's medical bill. Yes, the check. Hey! Hey! We're on our way to the bank to withdraw and pay the doctor as demanded. But now that you are here, you can go and cash it and pay him yourself. Hey! Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Amarachi. Thank you, thank you, it's thank, okay. you. thank it's you, thank you, okay. thank you. Oh, no, 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 Ebuka, Ebuka, please, 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 just stand up. You shouldn't have done this. I told you it's not the case. It's fine, okay? It's okay. Ebuka, Ebuka, no, 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 this is not right, no. Please, please, I, be I beg you, just stand up. It's okay, it's fine. Thank you. Ebuka, you don't have to do that. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Dad. Thank, Thank you. you. My whole life is changing. It's upside down. I have lost everything. It's upside down. I was happy, now I'm sad. Life was good, but now it's bad. What is happening? Oh, my life is upside down. Is this my destiny? It's upside down. Hello, doctor. Good morning. Yes, I'm in my house. I'm washing my mother's dirty clothes that she used previously. I'll be there soon. Any, any problem? What? Doctor, tell me you're pulling my legs, right? Tell me you're pulling my legs. That my mother is out of coma? Are you for real, doctor? Are you for real? Oh my god, oh my god. Yes, yes, I'll be there soon, I'll be there soon. Uh, just a few minutes, few minutes, I'll be there. Thank you. Hey! Oh my God. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. Obinigwe! Obinigwe! I come to the end Chineke. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Chineke, nah. I am grateful. Obinigwe, I'm grateful. Thank you! Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming back to life. I love you so much, Mom. I love you. I love you. Abuka. Mom? You still called me mom after everything. After yeah. hearing everything. Yes, Mom. Whatever that which revealed to me has done no damage to who you are and mean to me. Oh, yes. You are my mother. My one and only mother. Nothing will change that in my heart. Not even a million ago days. Thank you. Thank you, Ibuka. Thank you for not abandoning me after hearing everything. The doctor told me everything you have been doing. Thank you and God bless you for me. Amen, Mom. God bless you too for all you did for me. You saved my life as a baby. You raised me up as your own flesh and blood. There is no Ebuka without you. You denied yourself comfort and this life for my sake. God bless you so much. 
God bless you, my son. Mm -hmm. Even if I don't survive this, hearing you say this, I would die a fulfilled woman. You're not going to die, mother. You will not die. God has said an emphatic no to it. You're not going to die. God has sent some angels in the form of a kind family from Acha community. Yes. Uh, Ebuka, that reminds me. The Dr. Steve told me that a family from Acha came earlier today to visit and that they promised to pay my bills. Who are they? What are they? The, the, the doctor wants to see you immediately. Okay. In his office. Okay, nice. Mom, let me see him. I'll tell you everything about them when I come back, right? Yes, sir. The good Lord has answered us. I'll be back soon. Let me see the doctor. Let's go. Oh. Ebuka. Mom, do not worry. I'm still the Ebuka that you saved and raised up. You named me Chukwe Ebuka. God is great. Mother, God is indeed great. I'll be back soon. Please God, preserve Chukwebuka, my son, for me. Bless him and protect him for me. Thank you, God. Chukwebuka. Yeah. Who is that? Come in. Oh, doctor. Hey, Sebuka. Yes, I, I actually did. But I was just informed that uh, there is a new patient needing my attention. However, since you're, you're here, I will spare you one minute to tell you why I called you. Okay. Before the intensive care equipment we hired got here, your mom came out of coma. Yeah. We still need them though, hence we'll have to keep them handy. Okay. Uh, actually, I sent for you so I could uh, confirm if you've gotten everything needed for the surgery tomorrow, as you promised me earlier. You mean the the fonts required? Sure, sure, the fonts. I I need to be sure before asking the surgeons to come down here tomorrow. You said the chief who was here earlier with his wife gave you a check covering the money. Have you cashed it? Not yet, Doctor. I was about going to Okiwe to cash the check when I got a call that my mother has come out of coma requesting to see me. So I had to come here first. But I'll soon go there and cash it. Yeah, that's okay. But you see, the money has to be paid in full else we will not commence preparations for the surgery. Mm -hmm. Doctor, I must pay the money. I, yeah, I have the check already. I'll just have to go to Okiwe. Okiwe is close by. Don't worry, I'll get the money. Once the accountant confirms the full payment, uh, preparations for the surgery will uh, commence immediately. Thank you, Doctor. I'll, I'll rush, I'll get it. It's okay, we'll okay. Thank you. Hello, nurse. Anything new to report? That Evoca told you people that he will not be going to the bank to cash the check? Why? Oh, that it will pass the banking hour before he gets the bank in Okiwe. One minute. Yeah, he's right. And when did he say he would be going to do that? First thing tomorrow? He's all right, Ness. Thanks for the head up. No, I've not gotten any information about who the girl is or any member of her family, where they're staying, 
and how they met Elbuka. But there's someone on it for me. As soon as the person gets to know anything about them or if he makes any physical contact with them, the person going after that will pick it up from there and let me know. It's all right. Thank you very much. Yeah, hello, Sergeant Toby. Yes, you need to stand down. He's not going to the bank again. First thing tomorrow morning. It's all right. Okay. Of course. Bye. Till then. <laughs> Well, only the Almighty knows that any time their family is trapped, I will just send Sergeant Obi and his crew to wipe them off the surface of Earth. They signed their death warrants the day they got themselves involved in Dora's case. I don't know how they made Eboka or the reason, but they are done for doom. Booker is in my sister's trap. And I am not going to let him go easy. It's either he ties of sex, steroid, overdose, or I get tired of him and push him off. And that should be when he's down and never to perform again, you know. It's not my fault. This is a good life. <laughs> oh my word, when you got the money, you got the whole world. Officer, what is it again? You're under arrest for raping Madame Egode. I'm making away with her money and valuables. Officer, please. Please, don't do this. Please. I beg you in the name of God. I am on my knees. Please don't do this. Please. Please. As you can see, the water and the food, I'm taking it to the hospital for my dying mother. She needs it before she could take her drugs. Please, don't do this. I am not available. I am not ready for this game. Please. Shut up your mouth. Who is playing girl with you? What more do I call it? When an adult like you, who knows the truth about what you said you came to arrest me for, still comes to do it. Don't you have conscience? Don't you have conscience? Utter another word, I'll shoot you in the head. Maya, move! This way! I said move! Before I shoot in your head. This way! Keep going! Officer, officer, I don't want this. I said move! I, I, I don't like this, officer. Stop now, please. Stop. Full stop, officer, stop. Thank 
you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Amarati. Thank you. It's thank okay. you. It's thank fine. you. you don't have to thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay, thank you. Get up. Eh? Get up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the human family is one that tries when they have reach out to help they have not. So it's alright. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Oh yes. We didn't do anything exceptional. 